Okay, so in this particular video we've been asked to work out the curved surface area of this cone. Now the important thing to remember with this is firstly they're not asking for the area of the circle at the bottom of the cone, they're just asking for the curved surface area. So what they mean by that is this cone area itself. Uh, the other thing is that the formula for curved surface area is actually pi R L and it is very important to remember this L relates to something called the slant height which is actually this dimension along here. Okay now what they've given you on this particular um, information on the question is the overall height of the cone. So we've got to use these two bits of information to get the slant height and the way we're going to do that is by using Pythagoras. Okay, so let's just have a look at that. So I'm going to break this down. You can imagine what I've done is I've taken a triangle out of the cone here, across here, right angle triangle, and I'm going to use the information I've got, which is the base of this is going to be half of the diameter. So this is going to be 5. And the height of it is going to be an overall height of 12. And in order to calculate our formula, we need to know what this slant height is here, which is this dimension here. OK, so using Pythagoras with that, we're going to say that L squared equals 12 squared plus 5 squared. Well, if either you can do that by mental arithmetic or you can pop that in your calculator, but it's going to work out that L squared is 169, or L, which is the bit that we're interested in, is actually 13. So the slant height for this particular cone isn't 12, it's going to be 13, and it's really important. These type of questions do come up quite a lot, and people make these sorts of mistakes by using the overall height. OK, so now we're in a position we can put this into our formula. So our formula is pi r l in order to calculate the surface area. Well, pi, we've been asked to leave the answer in terms of pi, so I'm not going to worry about that too much. I'm just going to leave it as it is at the moment. I'm going to multiply it by the radius. Now remember that the radius is going to be 5 and I'm going to multiply it by the slant height, which is 13. Well, 5 times 13 is 65. OK, so my answer to this particular question is pi times 65, or the better way of answering that is to say that the curved surface area of this is 65 pi, and that will answer the question on this particular video. Um, I hope that's been okay for you. We did dive straight into it. The key factors to look out for is to make sure you use the slant height. If you haven't got the slant height, use Pythagoras or some other method that they will give you or give you the, the opportunity to use a different method um, to work out this and then leave the answer in terms of pi. Um, if you want to find out the absolute answer, you just simply multiply 65 by pi on your calculator and that will give you the decimal equivalent. I hope that's been okay for you. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.